fingertip, like get the webbing of your fingers involved. Start to build your breath here. On the inhale, fill up completely. Notice the pause at the tippy top. On the exhale, empty completely. And notice the pause here at empty. Keep building in volume and robustness of each inhale and each exhale. And then start to feel for right here for where the air is coming into your lungs. For most of us, we kind of get into this um, automatic kind of breathing up into the top of the chest. See if you can start to bring the breath down into the sides of your ribs, to the bottom of your lungs, maybe all the way down towards your belly. And last big breath right here. And on your exhale, take your first downward facing dog. Move here from your brain into your body, taking whatever movements you need to feel that you're settled right there in the body, in the present, in what is true right now. Press your hands down into the floor. Press the ball mounds of your feet down into the floor. Really set your foundation up here for every down dog to follow and for the rest of your practice. One more big breath here. Lift your heels all the way to the ceiling. Exhale, lower them to the floor and move feet to hands. Halfway lift at the top of your mat and fold, big forward fold. Bend your knees a little or a lot. Grab your toes. And then maybe there's a little sway side to side here or swaying your head side to side, whatever you need to get grounded, get grounded in your feet, get grounded in your body. Ragdoll, lift the pit of your belly all the way up toward the ceiling. You've got a big C-shaped curve in your spine. And I'll bring your awareness all the way to the top of your body, let your head drop. Nice, and now let the shoulders round forward. Press everything down into your feet. Inhale, rise, extended mountain, reach for the ceiling. Hands at heart center. Your opportunity right here to decide how you're showing up for your practice. And in doing so, how you're showing up for the others in the room. And we'll seal those intentions with three ohms together. Breath in. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Extended mountain, look up, reach up, and fold. Halfway lift, create that long flat back. Step back to high plank. Pause here, tap your right knee to your right elbow. Tap your left knee to your left elbow. Lower down low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, breath in. Empty it out. Two more fill. And empty. Fill up, lift up. Empty out, move forward, halfway lift, fold. Extended mountain, look up, reach up, and fold. Let's add in the arms here. If you've got the weights, take a halfway lift with a tricep pull, and then fold again. Extended mountain, reach all the way up, and fold. Halfway lift with the tricep pull, maybe a chest fly if you've got no weights. Step back to high plank, right knee taps, left knee taps, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Nice big breath in and empty. Two more loud enough so our friends at home can hear. Last one here, fill up, empty out. Move feet to hands, halfway lift with the tricep pull, fold. 
extended mountain press down through your big toe mounds. Fold. Halfway lift with a pull. Step back to your high plank. Right knee taps left elbow this time. Yeah, something a little different. Take the left elbow to the yeah, opposite side. You know where you're going. Low plank. <laughs> Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Two more. Fill. And empty. Lengthen your spine. Prepare. Move forward. Halfway lift with a tricep pull. Fold. Extended mountain. Last one. Fold. Halfway lift with the pull. Step back to high plank. Let's try that opposite knee to opposite elbow again. Right side, then left side, low plank, up dog, down dog. Nice big breath in, exhale it out. Two more. Empty. Last one. Empty out, feet to hands, halfway lift to the pool. Fold. Chair pose, reach up. If you've got the weight, you can keep them here. Hands to heart center, twist to your right. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Back to chair. Hands to heart center, fold to the left. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back to chair. And fold. Halfway lift with that tricep pull. Step back to your high plank. Right knee taps. Left knee taps, low plank, up dog, down dog, right side warrior one. Take the weights with you if you've got them. Inhale to rise. Maybe take cactus arms here. Chaturanga. You flow to the other side with your breath. Up dog, down dog, left side. Step and reach. Take the cactus arms. Chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Breath in and empty. Breath in, expel it. One more fill, empty, move forward. Halfway lift, tricep pull, fold. Chair pose, sit and stay. Hands to heart center, twist to your right. Inhale, open, exhale, twist. Inhale, chair. Exhale to the left. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Back to chair and fold. Halfway lift with the tricep pull. Step back to your high plank. Right knee taps. Left knee taps. Warrior one, right side. Inhale as you rise. Cactus arms, pull the shoulders on the back. Chaturanga, flow through. Up dog, feel the pause. Down dog, feel the pause. Left side, inhale as you rise. Chaturanga, empty out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breath in, exhale. Feel the lift on the inhale. Press the chest towards your knees on your exhale. Last one, fill up, empty out, feet to hands, halfway lift with a pull, fold. Last sunbeam, chair pose, hands to heart center, twist to your right, inhale to open, exhale, twist, inhale, chair, twist to the left, inhale to open, exhale, twist, back to chair, and fold, halfway lift with that tricep pull, step back to high plank. Right knee taps, left knee taps, low plank. Up dog, downward facing dog, step through on the pause, inhale, warrior one right side. Nice, then chaturanga, flow with your breath. Full breath in, full breath out. Left side, reach for the pause at the top, receive the whole pose, chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog, breath in, 
Clear it out. Lift your right leg up behind you. Press down both hands evenly here. All five toes face down toward the mat. And then lift your heel just another inch. Bend your knee, open your hip, stay here or flip your dog. Feet on 12 o'clock right away. Bring your knees as close together as your hips are. Nice adjustments. Now take your gaze to the ceiling, maybe up here toward the front of the room. Yeah, show me those eyeballs. One more breath in. Both hands down, side plank, right side. You set this up as you need to if there's a knee down or a leg lifted. And now we're gonna go for five ankle taps. Lift it up, bring them together for one, two, three. Yeah, take the movement as slow as you need to to keep the balance. Here's number five, lift it up, get big, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, breath in, clear out the extra heat, lift your left leg up behind you. Press your heel past the back of your mat. Yeah, now extend the whole leg. So any bend in the knee, take it out, press. Now bend your knee, open your hip, and stay here or flip your dog. Set up the feet first, knees hip width distance, feet on 12 o'clock. Look up, maybe look back. Let your hand follow your fingertips for one more breath. Both hands down, side plank, left side. And you know what's coming. So if there's another variation of this that's needed, take it. Go ahead and lift that top leg and we'll bring them together for one, two, three, four, and five. Up, get big, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Big breath in, clear it all out. Step your right foot forward for crescent lunge. Now set up your feet first here, so long, front to back. Press down in your big toe mounds on both sides. That's gonna help us keep the balance here as well as bringing your center of gravity just a little lower to the floor. Yeah, come lower in your lunge. One more breath in, get really long on both sides. Hands to hard center, twist to your right. Breathe here into your left side body so you've got all the length, you're keeping all the length. And engage the back of your left thigh. Yeah, it's gonna keep it right up there, right with the right thigh. Last big breath in, twist it out. Back to crescent lunge. We're gonna go for five knee taps on this side. Back leg comes down toward the floor for one, two, little glute squeeze at the top, three, four, and five. Open up warrior two. Come down in your front knee right away and start pressing down through your back foot. So much so that we feel like our whole pose is being propelled forward. Nice, now bring the shoulders back over top of the hips. So most of us kind of lean forward and reach. Come all the way back so everything's in one straight line. Yeah, nice. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, reach behind you. Extended side angle, bring those fingertips down towards your arch or to a block in front of your foot. Long straight lines up both sides of your body. Pull in and see if you can find your oblique on that right side, using it to hold you up, stay lifted. You got it, press your feet down, 
Inhale, reach both arms toward the front of the room like you've got a big old beach ball. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breath in and out. Left side crescent lunge. Feet wide and long. And then notice the heel of your back foot up over top of the ball of the foot. If it's way back here, you can come down a little bit further in your lunge. Yeah, and I suggest just seeing where your own body is right now. Reach up, pelvis to crown, hands to heart center, twist to your left. Use your breath here, inhales to lengthen, exhales to twist. Arms can open here, maybe take a bind behind your back. If the hands wanna come close together, that 90 degree bend in the knee is the ticket to getting there. Nice, last breath in, clear it out. Back to crescent lunge. We're gonna go for those five knee taps on this side, bring the right knee down toward the mat for one, two, squeeze the glutes at the top, three, four, and five, come on up, warrior two. Nice, and then get into it, sink into it, and just be in it. As part of a really interesting conversation earlier about how courageous it is to just be present sometimes. And this is where my thoughts went, is to warrior two. No matter how long you've been doing it, how long you've been doing yoga, this is challenging. So stay here. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior reach. Stay low, extended side angle. And this is kind of the magic of the yoga practice is we're getting those tools that we need to stay here. Things like breath, your drishti, those tools we use when things get hard. Last breath here, reach both arms forward. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale it out. Move feet to hands. Halfway lift. Fold. Chair pose, sink down deep. Take a look at your toes and see that you can see them out in front of your knees. And if they're not quite there, sit back a little further. Yeah, and maybe even further, so much so that you feel like you're gonna fall over if you're not reaching forward. Lift the heels, iron footstool, reach forward. Stay here for five, four, three. Yeah, shaking is fine. Heels down to the floor and fold for just a moment. Breath in and out. Inhale back to chair. Sit down, reach high. Hands to heart center, twist to the right. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale back to chair. Hands to heart center, twist left. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Back to chair and fold, fingers to toes, forward fold. Bend your knees a little or a lot. And at least a little bend in the knees so you've got that access to pressing the heels down so you can lift everything on the back side of the body up using the muscles in the back of your legs. Release your toes, take crow pose number one. Crow, goddess, or another inversion. You choose where you're taking this. And once you start to find your direction, pull the pit of your belly into your spine. Center line is lit up. Pull everything in. Press your elbows out into your knees. One more breath. Step or hop back, chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Move forward, feet to hands. Halfway lift and fold. 
extended mountain reach all the way for the ceiling. Take eagle pose on your right. Right arm comes under, right leg over, have a seat. And then choose to have the courage to just be with this, however it shows up tonight. We're in it and we're here for the wiggling. We're in it and we're here for the burn. We're in it to feel how our bodies feel right now without judgment. Switch sides, feel how it is on this side. Left arm under, left leg over, maybe even sit a little bit deeper. Flex your lifted foot. Nice, now press your big toe mound of your standing foot down into the floor. Switch sides, eagle on the right. Sit down low, drishti to one specific spot. Unwind your legs, keep your arms bound, airplane with bound arms. Send your right foot straight back. See if you can lift your chest here, even with the bound arms. Now open them, reach back, full airplane. Take on half moon. Keeping the little bit of bend in the standing knee. Press back through your lifted heel and lift it two more inches. Nice, you all moved about five inches. So maybe you have a couple more, lift it another few inches. Nice, last big breath. Both feet to ground, inhale, extended mountain, reach up. Take eagle pose on the left, left arm under, left leg over. I love that when we're in the middle of the yoga class and we surprise ourselves. We're like, I'm in my half moon, but all of a sudden I have more half moon to give than I thought I did. Unwind your legs, airplane, keep your bound arms, pull your shoulders up toward the ceiling. Unwind your arms, reach all the way back, full airplane. Little bend in the knee, half moon. Drishti to one spot. Again, right here, lift that heel another few inches. And now a couple more, what do you have? Nice, one more breath. Both feet to the ground. Press down in your big toe mounds, press down in your heels. And we'll take standing leg raise on the right side. You choose here near toe. Externally rotate to the right. Gaze moves one drishti point at a time to the left. Flex your lifted foot. Yeah, so we want to keep awareness in the whole limb, all the way to the toes, all the way to the fingertips, total body expression. Bring it back to center, send your foot back airplane. Yeah, get in it, notice how does this airplane feel. Now reach your arms forward, warrior three. Extend all the way through your fingertips. Place your palms on your thigh and walk yourself down, all the way down to the floor to a standing split. Again, option here if it would feel good to open that hip up to raise the foot a little higher. Or you can stay here in the standing split, getting as much stretch as you can in those hammies. One more breath, both feet to ground. Inhale all the way to extended mountain. Standing leg raise on the left side. Knee or toe, externally rotate, gaze to the right. And 
And what is there to observe right here? Maybe just about the drishti. Are we looking at something specific? But is the gaze soft enough to keep? It's a really interesting balanced action there. Come through center, send your foot back to the plane. Open your chest. Now reach forward to the front of the room. Warrior three. Nice, palms toward each other, thumbs to the ceiling. Walk your hands down towards your ankle. And then extend the left leg. Yeah, press through it. See just how much room you've got. If you'd like to, open that left hip. Take your foot a little higher. Another breath here. Both feet to the mat. Press down, inhale, stand all the way up, extended mountain. Take dancer pose on your right, dancer or standing bow. Reach for the inside of the right ankle, soft part of your elbow facing out, thumb toward the ceiling. And now with that leg lifted, steer the knee so it's facing down towards your mat. Mm -hmm. That's gonna close the hip a little bit. It's gonna play with your balance. Switch sides. Soft part of the elbow out, thumb facing up. Now take your awareness to your knee, steer it down toward the mat. Flex your lifted foot. Can you press it up toward the ceiling another inch? Of course you can. <laughs> Bring both of your feet to the ground. Amazing. Tree pose, right side. Foot anywhere you like it, but the inside of the knee. So above or below. And then start at the bottom to create your foundation for this pose. Big toe mound presses into the floor. And then press your standing or your lifted foot into your standing leg, your standing leg into your lifted foot. If you've got the weights and you wanna use them here, they can be in your hands, maybe going through a couple of pushing up, maybe a couple triceps extensions. Just options. One more breath. Switch sides. Tree pose, left side. Drishti to one spot. Bring back your breath. I got a little quiet. Yeah, so breathe, full breath in. Notice the pause. Exhale it all out. Notice the pause. One more in. Exhale it out, feet to the floor, extended mountain at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach and fold. Halfway lift, take that tricep pull. If you've got the weight, step back to high plank. Right knee taps, left knee taps, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Roll out to a high plank. Press your feet into the floor and lift your belly button all the way up toward the ceiling. Nice. Stay here for another five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower all the way down to your mat. Locust pose when you get there. Press your hips down. Inhale to rise. And then another option here, if you happen to have weights or even a block, you can reach it forward, reach them out, get the shoulders involved wherever you're at, lift them up to the ceiling and lower down, right cheek to the mat, windshield wiper your feet back and forth. 
We've got a closed chain locust this time. So keep your toes on the floor, chaturanga feet. On the inhale, lift the top half of your body. And then reach the arms way forward. Lift your shoulders up onto your back. Yeah, a room full of superhumans. You've got two more breaths. One more, lower down. Bring your ankles together, take them in a circle one way and then the other. One big floor bow tonight. So grab for the outsides of your ankles, maybe the sides of a strap. Bring your knees together as close as they can get and then send your shins to the back of your mat. Flex your feet and lift them up toward the ceiling. They may be close to or maybe even above the plane of your head. Bring your breath down into your belly. Maybe you rock a little bit. One more. Lower all the way down. Nice. Hands at your lowest ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift your thighs off the floor. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Exhale that out. Bring your knees to the floor for one camel pose tonight. Stack your shoulders over your hips, hips over your knees, hands in your imaginary back pockets, and we'll send the center of the chest up toward the ceiling. Tuck your chin back, straight back towards your jaw, or your jaw straight back towards your neck. And maybe if that feels good, the head can start to come back. Or maybe the hands start to reach from the hips down to the ankles. On your next inhale, rise up and out. Sit back on your heels for a moment, high hero. Tuck the toes under to give them a stretch. Bring the legs all the way around, bridge pose. Flat on your back, knees to the ceiling. Press down evenly through both feet. Inhale, rise for bridge number one. And now once the hips are lifted here, go ahead and let that right foot float up toward the ceiling. Little bend in the knee. We're gonna come down for five hip dips on this side. So bring your hips all the way down to the mat for one. Press it back up, two, three, four, and five, press up, switch feet. Get the left foot up in the air. We'll come down for one, two, three, four, five. Lift up, replace your foot, lower all the way back down to the floor. Breath in together and out together. Bridge number two, lift up. Yeah, both feet on the ground here this time. Lower your hips down for one, two, three. Knee straight toward the ceiling, four, five. Last one, number six, because I like even numbers. Press up and lower down. Breath in and out. You have four more back bends. Bridge your wheel, decide where you're going, press down and lift. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, breath in and out. Inhale, rise number two. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, breath in and out. Number three, rise. Let your drishti land somewhere behind you. Yeah, no need to look toward the floor. Just let it land softly. Last breath, lower down. Here is your last one. You decide and make it your biggest. Biggest bridge, biggest wheel, inhale, rise. And whatever biggest means to you tonight, maybe that's a bigger breath, a more focused gaze, 
more length from your knees to your shoulders. One more breath. Lower all the way down, Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles together, knees wide. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Organize your breath in such a way that the bottom hand, the one that's on your belly, is filling with belly on the inhale and emptying on the exhale. Take your feet to the ceiling, dead bug. That bony plate on your back, let that lay on the floor. Yeah, so if there's a little tightness here in your hips or in the backs of your legs, you may grab for your thighs, the backs of the thighs instead of the feet. Rock side to side for happy baby if that feels good. And now we'll take the feet all the way to the ceiling. Here we are in stability. Lower your right leg down halfway. On your exhales, switch. Your pace. Press your low back down into the floor. And then keep going with your pace using the exhales. You've got so much power being generated from the exhale. Put it to good use. And you've got three, two, one. Set yourself up like you would for abdominal twists. So knees over your hips. Now we're gonna place the palms of our hands on our thighs here. Press down into your thighs. Now lift your legs towards your face. This is just isometric, holding right here in the middle. Pull your low back down if it's not already. And you feel everything there really turn on. Keep breathing really deep. Stay for three, keep pressing for two. And one, give your knees a little squeeze. We're gonna work with isometrics again a little differently this time. Place your hands on your thighs, same as before. And this time we're gonna extend the right arm and the right leg at the same time. So left palm is still pressing and then switch. So right side extends, left side extends. Yeah, and you can take that foot all the way out in front of you. Keep pressing on the opposite side. Abs should be on fire right now. Yeah, and I see that across the room. Stay for three, two, and one. Hug your knees. Rock them side to side. Rock forward and back three times. All the way up to boat pose. Grab four, maybe your weight's holding them at center, one weight or two, maybe there's a block between your hands. We're gonna row our boat here for 10, feel the pause. Nine, stop for the pause. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees, rock back and forth. Make your way to right side half pigeon. On your back or on your belly, your choice how this shows up. Keep the right foot flexed as you set up and then as you're in the pose as well, it's gonna help keep any twisting or rotation out of the knee joint. Stay present with your drishti where it is and with your breath the way it's showing up for you here. And here in the spot where things get uncomfortable, our brain wants to do all sorts of things to distract us. And this is where it takes that courage to stay present. To notice what's here to observe it without judgment. Yeah, 
And that includes everything, not only the way your body's showing up, but if there are any lingering thoughts from the outside world right now, just notice them, let them pass. Push yourself up and out, switch sides. Take your drishti with you point to point. And then take that organized four part breath with you. Keep the left foot flexed. And then notice what's present on this side. Totally different for most of us than what we experienced on the other side. Nothing bad about it, nothing good about it, just a thing to notice. Take some of your awareness here to your back leg, all the way down to your heel, and just notice kind of what's happening there. For most of us, we want the heel to either kind of collapses out to the outside or collapses to the inside. Have it so your heel is facing straight up toward the ceiling. Nice adjustments. Yeah, sometimes you've got to look. The proprioception is just kind of, sometimes when it's behind you, it's a little less clear. Press yourself up and out. Let's take frog pose. You can create frog with your belly down toward the floor or your back on the floor. Place the legs and the feet up on the wall somewhere. Plenty of wall space to play with. And then once you're in the general shape, organize the body so that our feet are flexed. Knees are at 90 degree angles. And then hips at 90 degree angles. If you've got your back on the floor here, press the lumbar spine down until you feel that everything from your shoulders down to your hips, that whole square of your back is on the floor. And those of us on our bellies, lift your belly button all the way up past your spine toward the ceiling. Yeah, so you're really finding that integrity and supporting the low back here. And if you feel yourself kind of rounding forward in the shoulders, see about pressing your thoracic spine forward toward your chest. Very nice adjustments. Two more breaths right here. Getting comfy with the uncomfortable. And then gently make your way out of your frog back to your mat. And organize your body for seated single leg extension. Right leg extends forward. Left leg comes in like tree pose. Bend your knee a lot as you lift up, reach both sides of your body to the ceiling, and then fold forward on your exhale. Press the center of the chest forward towards your toes. Yes, we have a little tendency to kind of round forward here, and if you feel that, do that same thing. Press the thoracic spine forward towards your chest. You almost feel like a little retraction of your shoulders. Nice, release your toes, other side. Again, a big bend in the knee on the side if that's what's needed.
Bring that feeling in the extended leg here, just like we get in the standing forward folds. So you're pressing your heel down like it's pressing into the floor and press your sit bone back toward the back of your mat like it's going toward the ceiling. Release your toes, seated forward fold, ankles together or out wide, your choice. On an inhale, reach high, lengthen your body. Exhale to fold forward from your hip creases. Press your heels down. Now send your sit bones back. Release your toes, tabletop or reverse plank. The whole sole of your foot is on the floor here, especially for those taking reverse plank. Lift your hips toward the ceiling. Yeah, allow the chest to open. Maybe the neck opens, head rolls back if that feels okay. One more breath, lower down fish pose. Take your block between your shoulder blades or set up your elbows where you like them to be and lay on back like a mermaid. Yeah, and then chest super open here. Can you find that same kind of pressing here of the thoracic spine up forward toward the chest? Roll to your right side to release your props or your elbows. And let's get upside down, feet over hips, maybe hips over heart. Decide where you're going. Headstands or handstands, practice at the front of your mat or take up some wall space to do so. Shoulder stands, waterfalls. Once your hips are up and your feet are up, Plant your feet so they're directly above your hips. Nice, now flex them. Press your big toe mounds toward the ceiling. Press your heels toward the ceiling. Turn the inner ankles back just a little bit. And now do you feel that lift all the way from your hips, all the way up to your feet? Get a little interested, what's present there? Maybe something a little bit different than what you typically feel in this pose, maybe some shaking and work happening. Full inversions, take a few more breaths and start to make your way down. Shoulder stands and waterfalls. If you'd like, you can move to plow, bring your toes behind you to the floor. If your toes can touch the floor, you can let go of your hands on the backs of your hips and maybe take a bind down by your mat. Plow to deaf yogi, bring your knees down around your ears. And then using your arms as brakes, roll all the way slowly as you can out onto your mat, hug the knees into center, and drop them to your right side for a supine twist. Those of you at home, if it's easy for you to do so, I encourage you to dim your lights. I'm 
passing out cold eye towels here in the studio. Feel free to reach for that when you are ready for it. Bring your knees into center and take them over to the left. As you feel complete on this side, come back to center. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees out wide. And give yourself a moment here to set up your Shavasana. Pull your shoulders up underneath of you. Get your shoulder girdle as flat on the floor as you can. And we'll take two clearing breaths right here together. Fill up through your nose and empty out through your mouth. One more like that. Shavasana. Take your arms long and wide. Take your legs long and wide. Allow your breath to return to a natural pace. With each new exhale, let go of what's no longer serving you. And then let each inhale fill you with what you need. Know that the thoughts and emotions you're having right now are temporary. And let them come and go, just like waves on the shore. And when the mind inevitably begins to wander off, gently notice and bring it back. And then after bringing it back, notice and be okay with what is. Notice here if your mind has moved on. And simply bring it back 
to this inhale and this exhale and then the next. Begin to deepen your breath, lengthen your inhales, lengthen your exhales, and bring some movement back to the body. Roll your fingers and toes. Create some movement in the wrists and the ankles, your knees and your elbows. And then make your way toward a full body stretch, fingertips in one direction, toes in the other. Hug everything into center. Knees come to the forehead. And rock over to your right side for infant's pose. An opportunity to send gratitude to yourself for showing up, for being courageous enough to be present. And gratitude to the other yogis who showed up to experience that presence with you. Press your left hand into the floor to rise to a comfortable seat. Eyes closed or drishti settled right in front of your nose. On an inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we'll end as we began with three ohms together. Breath in. Knuckles to third eye center, we bow and acknowledge each other. Thank you to each of you for showing up to be present, to be courageous and authentic, and in doing so, allowing the rest of us to do the same. Namaste. Great practice, yogis. Boy, the rain was super nice to have during Shavasana, wasn't it? My goodness. All right. Questions about